Happy Halloween, everybody! Um, Halloween always, always reminds me of this incident that happened to me a couple years ago. I was about to take someone else's kids trick-or-treating, and um, there were some trick-or-treaters who came to the door before we could leave. So I opened the door for them, and it was just a group of kids who were like seven or eight years old. And um, so they're like, trick-or-treat, you know, and I look down, and there's this girl in the group, and she's looking up at me, and she goes, uh, I get dressed as an Arabian. Yeah, that's what she asks me. And this is where I just want to address the issue of, like, parents need to teach their kids when not to ask questions. I mean, I know kids are really inquisitive and curious, and that's good, but there's a time and a place for everything. There is a reason why you just say, trick or treat, and you take your stale pretzels, and you leave. Okay? You can't be like, are you dressed as a black man? No. There are other people in the world, sweetie. There are. You know those people you see on TV? They're not wearing costumes. They're real. I mean, I don't have anything against children. They're really sweet. But, you know, they're just... It's the parents' fault. It, it is the parents' fault. Because if that happens again, you don't know who's going to open the door, you know, next time. Like, <laughs> there are some crazy people out there. Trick or treat. Oh, come in, my precious. Take some candy. That's that's even more offensive. Don't do that. It's, uh, you can get arrested for that. Anywho, you ever dance while driving and sing at the same time? I uh, I used to do that up till today. It was a uh, quite embarrassing for me on the freeway today. You think getting caught picking your nose is embarrassing? <laughs> That's not embarrassing. When you're dressed like me, it's really embarrassing. Um, so I was like dancing while driving. I was really jamming out, you know. I was, and I was wearing these glasses, right? So I'm wearing these glasses, and I'm just jamming. I'm jamming to my song, my Sean Paul, you know, so fun. Anyway, um, so this guy like pulls up next to me. You know, and it just reminds me, why do people in semi-trucks feel obligated to look into the cars next to them? And why do pedestrians stop in their tracks to watch me park? Like, why is that? What? Anyways, um, I was dancing, and uh, the guy, like, just, just pulled up next to me, and he was, you know, we were driving next to each other and you know don't think I stopped because I didn't notice him I went on for five minutes you know five <laughs> five minutes you know <laughs> anyway that's what I was doing um uh but yeah I went on for five minutes is that a Muslim woman I know, okay, we are normal people too. We sing and dance while we drive like everybody else. Singing and driving and has weird glasses on? Yeah. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Who will marry you? In case you don't know, uh, in the South Asian culture, uh, your parents implement this belief that being able to catch uh, a man by being a proper lady is your only purpose in life. Otherwise, you know, lightning will eventually strike you and you'll be taken by death. And, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, but that's what most people are concerned with in, in the culture. And people like, uh, you know, girls for their son who are, who, are, who are proper and doing something proper with their life. You know, proper meaning, like, becoming a surgeon or you know, helping people in need. <laughs> um, so yeah, the parents are really concerned with that and it really stresses them out. So, you know, ladies, just listen to your parents. You, you know, you don't want to attract someone who would want to be by your side and, you know, support you in all of your dreams um, of becoming like a, a YouTube star. I mean, you want to do the right thing, you know? Be good wives. Stay at home. Cook. Watch my channel. Anyways, before I end this, I'm supposed to tell you why hurricanes are named after white people. Um, 
but I do think Katrina could go both ways. Uh, I notice that white people are trained not to get offended um, because obviously they're white. They don't need to be offended be because just we know why. Anyways, um, if Hurricane Boom Shika hit, like, would you be offended? Today, Hurricane Boom Shika has hit the state of Wisconsin. That's offensive. Don't forget to click on Hijandam's other videos. That's Hijandam, H-I-J, A-N as in no really, D as in delusional, O and M as in me.